Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Okay, depending on where you're watching this video from, this is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we've got a question here, and right here there are two questions under integral. The first question to be answered, we need to understand that we're supposed to use a bipart method. If you want to integrate these, you need to use bipart method. So what I can advise you if you meet a question like this, you, you just say, let u, so you just let u be equal to, okay? So don't ask me where the u is coming from. It's part of the bipart method integral. So just say u, you, you want to find your u and your dv. That's the first thing you need to identify or the first two things that you need to identify. So the u will simply be equal to lean x this lean x okay that's our u and then the dv will be what has remained which is a d x so once you get to find your u under uh, dv you find the derivative of what is here the derivative of lean so let me let me just break it down for you right here so when you've got uh, lean okay lin x and they want you to find the derivative of lin x let me put it like this we are finding the derivative of lin x to find the derivative of this you simply write a one over the one is coming from uh, the number that is in front of lin so that's one over x the x is right here and then you put the brackets find the derivative of uh, the denominator so the der the derivative of x is 1 so multiply it by what is here therefore the derivative of lin x is 1 over x so this is what we are going to get and uh, once we get the derivative so mostly we say dy okay dy uh, dy dx if this was a y function so dy dx is equal to 1 over over x now in writing this we're going to write ourselves here as in uh, d du okay because uh, this function we are respecting uh, x and it's a u equation so we're going to say du is equal to okay 1 over x and then we bring dx. Just write the derivative of this here. And then you say dx here. This side you say du. Because this is u. Okay. So I hope you are following. You are able to see how the, all these, uh, these things are coming about. So from here. You now find your v. Very important. So v is coming from uh, dv. You saw du came from uh, u. dv is giving us uh, the v. Now, this V to be found, okay, we're going to find the integral of dx, okay, this side, dx. So, what is the integral of dx? The integral of dx will simply be equal to x. There is a 1 here, so we are integrating 1 with respect to x. The integral of 1 is 1x, one which is just x. So, we write that right over here. Okay, so after writing, you can now multiply these two. So just get this and this, put them together. So we shall say equal to x lin x. So uh, x lin x, put them together. Then you say minus, okay, the integral over this or this thing and this. So it will be x multiplied by 1 over x dx okay i hope you're able to see so we just get this and this put them together okay of course this is coming out to be equal to this whole thing when we simplify 
it will just give us a dx. It will be like this, because this is how it looks. I want you to see how all this thing will change or what it will change to. So this and this will cancel out. We shall just remain with the 1 dx, which is just equal to dx. So at this point, we can say what we have here is a dx. So this is dx. Okay. And finally, from this stage, we can say the integral before before we write this, I want, I want to just copy this. The integral, okay, of lean x with respect to x is equal to x lean x minus. What is the integral of 1? That is x plus c. So this is a, our answer for the first question. I hope somebody is following up to this stage if you are following please remember to leave a comment in the comment section like the video follow us on our facebook page jacob busichamba online math our tiktok you follow us also we are there all right so we also offer online tuitions if you want to join our online tuitions you can get in touch with us on uh, this number right here zero nine six nine one seven five seven zero one so you say plus uh, two six zero nine six nine uh zero nine six nine one seven five seven zero one you can whatsapp or call we'll be able to guide you on how you can join our online classes so we go to question uh, b question b They've given us this. Okay. Now, I want you to understand some properties. This question will go with properties. So, let's say properties. Proper properties to use. So, you can't just answer it without uh, understanding the properties. So, the first property to be considered here is a double angle property so cos double angle property so when you've got cos okay cos of 2x this will simply give us a, a cos okay cos squared x minus sine squared x so this is what we're going to get when you've got a, a cos 2x is equal to cos squared x minus sine x um, sine squared x. The other property, remember I said there are two properties. The other property is like this. When you've got cos squared x plus sine squared x, this will simply be equal to a 1. So these are the two properties we need for us to answer this question so how are we going to play with these properties the first thing will be to make cos squared x the subject on the second property and this is how it's going to look like we shall have cos squared x is equal to one minus sine sine squared x so this is what we have now after making this the subject we'll go now to property number one we substitute this side where cos squared x is so it will look like this cos 2x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x okay i hope you can see what is happening i've just substituted this right here and then i'll simplify this this will be cos 2x is equal to 
1 minus 2 sine squared x. Okay? So we also make uh, 2 sine squared x the subject. So this will come this side. It will be 2 sine squared x, which is equal to a 1. And then cos 2 x will come the, uh, the other side. We'll go the other side. It will be minus uh, cos 2 x. We divide by 2 by 2. We want to remain with sine squared x. When we divide by 2, this of course will give us a, a sine squared x which is equal to 1 minus cos 2x over a 2. So this is what will come out from this. And this is what we need. So the whole idea of doing what we were doing was uh, to come and substitute this here and then we integrate. Because the way it looks, we can't uh, integrate. So this will simply be equal to the integral of uh, 1, 1 minus cos 2x over 2 and then dx. So where there is this in place of sine squared x right here, I've substituted what we found. And we can say equal to 1 over 2. Okay, the integral, I've just factored out this denominator. Okay, so a 1 on top and a 1 on top out. And then a 2 outside uh, the integral sign. We will remain with a 1 minus cos 2x. Okay, what is on top here? And then we say dx. From here, we can say equal to 1 over 2. The integral of 1 with respect to x will simply be equal to x minus the integral of cos 2x. That will be sine 2x over a 2. Okay, so to the people wondering how I've managed to find this, we know of course that... Uh, the integral will follow the integral of uh, sine. So the integral of sine x will simply be equal to cos x. Okay, that's the integral of sine x. Now here, since it's a, it's a double angle here, there is something here. What we normally do is to find uh, the integral. I mean, the, is to find the derivative of what is here. So what is the derivative of 2x? It's just a 2. So now that answer, you write it down here as a denominator. Okay? So that's what we do. And uh, if we want, we can leave our answer like this. If we leave our answer like this, we remember to put a plus C. Or if we want, we can simplify it further. And if we simplify it further, this will simply be equal to X over... Okay, actually... I've, I'm putting a plus C. Don't confuse things. I'm putting a plus C. We are not done. We shouldn't put a plus C here because we are not done. So we just, we just say X over 2 minus sine 2X over a 2. The reason why I said we should not be putting a plus C is because we've got limits here. So the lower limit is a 0. Upper limit is a, is a pi. So now from here, we are simply going to say equal to, okay, so we substitute the upper limit. The upper limit, that's a pi over 2 minus sine 2 pi over a 2 minus the lower limit 0 over a 2 minus sine 0 over a 2. And then we close there. Okay. So now, let me, let me just talk about this part of substituting. The pi which is here, put it where x is here and here. And this is how it's going to look like. You see? And here. After you've done, you've, you are done putting the pi, you say minus, you now start putting the zero. Here and here. This is where it is and this is where it is. So when we say 
sine 2 pi, this will just give us a 0. So 0 divided by 0, it's a 0. Here it's a 0, of course. Here also it's a 0. So all these will be zeros. So it will be pi over 2 minus 0. It will give us a pi over a 2. This is our answer. Thank you so much. Hopefully you've learned one or two things. Please don't forget to leave a comment if you enjoy watching this so that you can be receiving more and more videos. Also subscribe okay, to this uh, YouTube channel. Follow us on our Facebook page, our TikTok, the same name, Jacob Sichamba. Bye-bye.